Good day. These are your Alkane PowerPoint notes, and I think this is where things are really going to start to make sense. So we know from earlier videos that the general formula for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. Saturated, only carbon-carbon single bonds, and we have tetrahedral shape. We start off with a super easy one. What we see is we have two carbons in our longest sausage. These hydrogens around aren't considered branches. We just fill in with hydrogens to make sure we have four bonds around every carbon. That's why you got to remember about bonding. Well, the prefix for two in carbon land is eth, and it's now cane, so we combine eth and ane, and incredibly, we end up with ethane. Now, sometimes it's represented like this because it's easier to type out in a book. And you would have to realize that the two carbons are actually bonded together, that the three hydrogens are sticking on the outside, and their carbons are together, and the other three hydrogens. And sometimes the book will even go H3C, then another C, CH3, and that'll show that the carbons are indeed connected. We want to get to more exotic ones, and here's our new mantra. So F and T and L and S. We are looking at finding the longest sausage. Sounds creepy. In the past I've had students like Josh Ogren and uh, let's see, Mr. Stoven, Jason Stoven yelling out, find the longest sausage and people walking by in the halls being absolutely shocked, not realizing that that's how you learn how to name things properly in organic. So let's show you where we should find the longest sausage. Well, I'm looking for the longest chain of carbons in a row. And so there I go. And that is something I expect you to do. I expect you to put, make this into a sausage. And that sausage has six carbons in a row. And so that is going to be our hexane. Now, over here, I have a CH3 and I have a CH3. And that's going to be my methyl branches. And you say, oh, what's going on here? Well, let's backtrack. So first of all, we had a hexane. And it is a pain to write with this thing. We'll do our best. Takes forever. You do not have to write this down. It's all going to come in neatly. But you do have to do the sausaging. So hexane, and when add, uh, Jiminy. So hexane is going to be written over the right later. We always put the main chain on the right. Now, here are branches, and they're called methyl. And why meth? Because there's only one carbon in that chimney. But we have two identical CH3s. So that's supposed to be a Y. And since we have two of them, we're going to say, hey, let's call that dimethyl. Dimethyl. Two methyls. And then here, we have two carbons in our chain, and the prefix for two is eth, and when it's a branch, it ends yl. So we don't call it ethane, we call it ethyl. We didn't call it methane, we call it methyl. So branches are sticking out of the main chain. In this case, our main chain is now came. Next thing we have to do is figure out their locations, because we got to put enough information in so someone could go for a name and get back to drawing the structure. So if I count from the left, I'm going to get one, two, three, four, and five. And you can put these locations on. You can write these numbers. And if I count from the left, it means all my branches on the second, third carbon. If I counted from the right and made this carbon one, and two, and three, and four, and five, all my branches would be on four and five. So I have to count from the left this time. So here's a crazy way of how we'd show it in a book. We generally don't worry about it. Let's get right to that name. So here is our three ethyl, one, two, three. The ethyl's on the third carbon. We have two methyls, so we have to say where they're located. One's on the second, one's on the third. So we went two comma three, dimethyl, and our main chain, the hexane, on the right. There's a lot going on there. Typically, we want to do this alphabetically, so ethyl becomes comes before methyl, the E before M. But in grade 11, if you went 2, 3, dash, dimethyl, dash, 3, ethyl, and then stuck on the hexane, it would be marked correct, because there's just so much going on. 
So as long as you have the branches, the main chain comes to the end, hopefully it's going to make sense. Now this one's really bizarre. This is a pretty tough one, but might as well do some tough ones in our notes. And here is our longest sausage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So non eight. If we just gone like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. We that's not our longest sausage. Our longest sausage is nine. Even when one, two, three came down here to get to eight. So that's our longest sausage. So we're gonna have a non ain over on the right, and we're gonna have a branch, and the branch is gonna be an ethyl, and the ethyl is gonna have a bromine on it, which is gonna be called a bromo. So we're gonna stitch this together. And you say, how did this all work? Well, here's the nonane. So the nonane came from the nine carbon branch, or nine carbon main chain. Then the ethyl came from here. And then we go one, two, three, four. So it's a four ethyl. It's saying the ethyl is on the fourth carbon. And then we look at this branch starting here, and we go one, two. So it's on the second carbon, the branch, so it's a 2-bromo. So we don't go 2-bromine or bromide. We go 2-bromo, 4-ethylnonane. A lot going on in these incredibly deluxe notes.